yesterday we learned that because we are breathing we think we are living but the truth is because we are living therefore we are breathing breathing is not the reason why life happens because life has happened to us therefore as a result of that we are breathing eating sleeping all the activities that we are doing reading writing studying singing playing all these activities are happening because something else has happened within us therefore it all is happening and therefore thinking that we are just a biology and because all the biological processes are in order therefore we are experiencing this life it's wrong we are life itself we are the chaitanya consciousness which is manifesting through us and because it is there therefore all these things are happening so the idea that we are alive comes not because we have a body which is alive not from the mind that can think analyze interpret decide and experience various things not even from the intellect which is very sharp or dull or whatever whichever kind of intellect not even the reason because we have emotions we can feel what people are saying good happy or bad and sorrowful none of this is the reason why we are here we are not here because we got a body we are not here because we got the mind we got uh, because we got buddhi we are not here because we are experiencing this world we are here primarily because someone decided that we should be here and that someone is none other than atman or brahman as you put it just like the bulbs however beautiful however decorative whichever color however ordinate is the socket in which the bulb is fixed and however with the switch what kind of a wire all this is immaterial unless there is electricity without electricity none of these things matter how many bulbs you have put how big is the bulb how much is the wattage what quality of switch you are using what wire you are using none of this matters light happens when electricity comes if electricity is not there light does not happen despite the bulb despite the wire despite the switch despite everything so to say in order electricity is the reason why everything happens so you cannot say light is because of the bulb this is the drishti of a biologist a life science specialist he will say life is happening because your body is healthy and because you can eat and digest your food you can breathe and you can sleep and you can do all the physical activities so they have parameters to check what is your oxygen level what is your this level that level and based on that they decide no no you are healthy therefore life is there no 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 life is there that's why you are healthy and this life the chaitanya cosmic consciousness or atman or brahman so many names for it it manifests in several ways it only manifests as the awareness of that you are here nobody needs to tell you that i am here your mantra cannot be i am alive i am not dead i am alive i am not dead this doesn't need any reminder your being does not need any doing you can forget everything if you go mad and you become insane but this idea that you are cannot be forgotten nor can be reminded can't tell that you are you are because you are that's it and that idea that you are is not because you can see yourself in a body because in the dream state you don't experience the body in the dream state you experience so many other things but you cannot say that i am the mind because in deep sleep state mind also disappears this we have seen we will say we have just slept for 5 minutes i thought and when you woke up it's already morning oh wonderful didn't realize even in deep sleep stage there is no doubt that you are there or you are not there even you don't know at that moment yet you are there for that there is no proof your very presence is your proof hage whether we are in waking state dream state or deep sleep state there is something else on which all these are dependent 
if that something is there only you can come awake that something is there only you can think of or dream that something is there only you go to deep sleep and because of that something only you come awake again and go through the same cycle because the man who was there in the waking stage is not there in the dream the man who is there in the dream is not there in the deep sleep and the man who is there in the deep sleep is not there in the waking state adike one janaka avaru udharan ide janaka maharaja ide i have spoken to you about that is dream or this is dream that is his confusion he slept and dreamt that he has been conquered by the enemy kingdom and now he has lost all his kingdom he is on the, he has been removed banished from the kingdom and is roaming around hungry and tired he has no food nothing and he is crying i am hungry i am hungry and somewhere somebody is giving some food he goes there begs and they give him whatever leftover is there that also he loses because a bird or eagle comes swooping and then that falls then he cries and says what is this i have got into and falls falls on the earth in the dream and here he wakes up in his bedroom his wife says what happened did you see a bad dream so janaka got confused he said was that a dream which i saw when i had lost my kingdom because my hunger was real my pain was real my sadness was real my tiredness was real everything that i experienced in that dream state was real only it's very difficult to say that it was not like i could feel the sun i could feel the wind i could feel the hunger i could feel tiredness and sadness and hopelessness everything i felt but now i am sitting on the throne bedecked with jewels with all the kiritam and all kinds of things now what am i a king or am i not a king is the question that is asking what if this is also dream because in this also everything feels real the jewels feel real the clothes feel real the people around feel real the happiness of being a king feels real when everything is feeling real what is going on in me is what the question janaka had and he asked many people and it seems ashtavakra came and he explained to him many people say agnyavalkya came and explained to him what whoever some master came and he asked the same question is this real that i am sitting on the throne and ruling the kingdom or was that real where i was begging for food which is real then this master tells him that which was there in that dream which you think you saw like the hunger tiredness hopelessness and the hot sun and the forest and the people who had served you food and the eagle that came and took away the food all of them are they here he says no they are not here the eagle is not there the people who served food is not here the forests are not here the hot sun is not here even the despair loss dejection and sadness none of this is here correct he said now tell me all that which is here was there in that there like was your kingdom your throne your jewels your family your administration cabinet was it there he said no when i was in that state i did not have all these jewels and things i was just on the road i was roaming around he said so what was there in that state is not here the forest the hunger the tiredness what is there in this state the jewels the costume the kings the cabinet and the palaces were not there but one thing was there in that state also and this state also what was that he asked you as janaka were there janaka only was dreaming and janaka only is now awake but janaka in the dream was a beggar and janaka being awake is a king so king was not the beggar beggar was not the king palace is not the forest forest is not a palace but somebody who is behaving like king now and who was behaving like a beggar then is there so if you think very deeply you realize neither the waking person is real nor the dreaming person real and both of them when they disappear in your deep sleep state then who who remains who remains is the question in waking state i was there dream state i was there because i was experiencing and also deep sleep i was experiencing but the waking state experience are not there in dream state dream state experience and the waking both are not there in the sushupti state each of these experience are mutually exclusive anta helti valva you those who have studied sets venn diagram ninth class mathematics so venn diagram these are mutually exclusive set but one set is called universal set anta heltive so in the universal set all the three sets come 
like in india there is karnataka there is andhra pradesh there is tamil nadu maharashtra now these are like subsets states are like subsets but who is the universal set india is the universal set likewise karnataka is not in tamil nadu tamil nadu is not there in andhra pradesh andhra pradesh is not there in uh, telangana telangana is not there in karnataka maharashtra like that we know that each state is independent but suppose you are traveling from karnataka now like earlier you were in telangana from telangana you traveled and came to karnataka now telangana did not come with you to karnataka you came from telangana to karnataka now from karnataka let us say you are going tomorrow tamil nadu Karnataka is not going to come with you to Tamil Nadu. You will go from Karnataka to Tamil Nadu. So at some point of time you are in Telangana, next point of time you are in Karnataka, from there you go to Tamil Nadu. But who travelled? You alone travelled. And you travelled where? You travelled within India. You are travelling from one state to the other, but you are travelling within India. You understand the point? now compare it with the jagrut swapna sushupti avastha and you jivatma and the universal consciousness as the paramatma now think like that so it's something like that all these three states of jagrut swapna sushupti are in a conscious space because without consciousness you cannot experience anything even when you are deep sleeping the consciousness is there that you are you have not developed the idea that you are not if you were not when you wake up how do you say i had a deep sleep how do you say i had a deep sleep suppose you had ice cream and came now ice cream is not there ice cream shop is not there but you say i had ice cream why and ice where is ice cream if i say where is, where is ice cream so it's gone inside it's become part of your blood now but you had ice cream you are aware of it even though ice cream physically is not present to prove can you prove to somebody else what you have eaten you cannot but you know you have eaten like that in turiya avastha we cannot prove it to anybody that we existed in fact we cannot even prove it to ourselves that we existed but we existed therefore when we wake up we say i had a good sleep deep sleep so this is the idea of how jivatma experiences all the three states of jagruta swapna sushupti which are all nothing but in the conscious space chaitanya space and if you slowly observe you slowly realize that jivatma is not a separate experience from the paramatma you will come to know slowly who is this jivatma you enquire it's like the wave in the ocean if ocean is the paramatma jivatma is like a wave wave is looking different from the ocean but is it not the ocean only it is like that so who is experiencing all the three the same paramatma is experiencing because paramatma is there so jivatma is there because jivatma is there so paramatma is being experienced by jivatma in the jagrut avastha in the swapna avastha in the but all these experiences of that paramatma only in different different ways paramatma only is manifesting in all the three states but we think we are experiencing it separate from paramatma that is the idea we are alive jagrut avastha not because jagrut avastha exists karnataka exists we are experiencing swapna avastha not because swapna avastha exists we are experiencing deep sleep not because deep sleep exists we are experiencing all the three because we exist and we exist because consciousness exists your existence is not dependent on body's existence your existence is not dependent on mind's existence your existence is not dependent on deep sleep's existence your existence is your own existence is depend on its own electricity is not dependent on the bulb and this consciousness is not dependent on others but everything else is dependent on this consciousness like when you are a son to your father you are also a student to your teacher you are a friend to your classmate you are a devotee of god all these three four are dependent on whom on you if you were not there which friend which father son which uh, teacher student nothing exists so likewise your life's experiences right now you think i am awake alive i am going through certain experiences is all depends on you 
most of our life we spend preserving this body because we think if your body is not there then we are not there no we are there even if body is not there we are there even if mind is not there we are always there so the moment you start identifying yourself with that higher truth that you are always there where is the moha coming from it is rupa nama moha i in this body i will not be there that is the sad part sad part is not that you are not there sad part is that you will not be there as this body in this place but as i said when you were a small kid you loved yourself but you allowed yourself to grow into a youth how much ever you tried to stop yourself could you stop yourself from growing into a young man or a woman it means what you let go of the childhood body otherwise youth body would not have come similarly youth body will grow into the old age body can you stop it try whatever people try all kinds of things but at the end it comes you cannot stop it likewise how long you will experience this world in this body in this way it is not dependent on the body it is dependent on the person within this body who is experiencing everything i was telling when people grow up also 30 years old they don't think they are 30 years old we don't understand we are aging body is aging but we are not aging see that is the truth you should say i am aging i am aging you are not aging even 85 year old man you go and tell he will tell i am more wiser now or experienced now but he will never say i am old body only is becoming old we don't realize we think we are the same person who was there 5 years ago today also i am the same person under 10 years down the line also i am the same person see there itself you sukshma buddhis you think little that how you are always not identifying yourself with the body that itself is the proof that when somebody wants to call you according to your body's age you don't accept it you will fill the forms you write your age all that is as per the outer activity but within yourself you don't feel the age so it's all in your mind it's all in your mind what you feel mind makes you feel you are alive or you are not alive you are happy you are not happy you are old you are young all this is mind's game you as the atman is ageless that is why you never identify your age with your body it's very difficult as a formality you may tell i am so old i will write something in the in the form to fill the form but within yourself you don't feel the age so that is the idea that we always knew and we always know that we are consciousness who is experiencing the body who is experiencing the mind who is experiencing the jagat who is experiencing all the relationships but we are not the relationships we are not the body we are not the mind we always know it unfortunately we are not paying attention to that part we are paying attention to the body we are attention to the um, thoughts we are paying attention to our emotions we are not paying attention to this idea who experiences all these things that person is not getting older so the idea is this that if you just pay attention to your own life and how you experience life you will know that you always know that you are consciousness and not this body likewise we are experiencing this world we are not this world we are experiencing our thoughts and emotions we are not thoughts and emotions we are the one who is experiencing it. therefore this idea of birth and death idea that i am alive because body is alive is a fake idea false idea i am beyond this body our problem is what like a toy that we love the most we don't want to let go of the toy that's all is the problem but when we grow up do we still want the same old dolls to play with and all those little little toys you will laugh at yourself you must think of your life and go back and think from your childhood how many stupid things you were falling for how many things you were running behind you fought with everybody didn't eat fought with your mother father brother sister for such silly things that if you look back and see you if somebody reminds you you will tell if you remind me i will get angry but that time it was so important today it is not important like that today you think this body this life this world this experience so important you grow a little more spiritually you will feel this is not important you will not have any moha over this body and this moha that this life in this world has to be experienced through this body in this way all these conditions will disappear in any way i have experience i am fine 
but don't experience also i am fine that is the idea of spirituality as i said the most important concept of spirituality is your body attachment should disappear this is the measure of the progress in spiritual path and how it will disappear vicharena think deeply what is this body who is this body am i not there in dream state even when the body is inert am i not there in deep sleep state even when the mind is inert so who am i what is this that is why i told you koham iti brahman himself was who am i then if everything has been taken care of by everything else who am i and he said i am the one who is the king and they are all my servant my eyes nose ears legs mouth and my mind and buddhi everybody is my servant who am i i am the king who is beyond all of them so this is the idea you must think deeply the more you think about it the lesser fear about the body will be there the more you think about it the lesser attachment to the body and worldly experience will be there the more deeply you meditate on the thought avasadana i said upanishad means upanishad upa closer ni for nischaya definitely what should happen shad means himsa avasadana and gati himsa means destruction this idea of body consciousness should get destroyed okay it is not fully got destroyed what should do at least gati you should move towards that idea that body consciousness is not the truth i am beyond the body in this birth in this body i am here next birth which body which parent i don't know therefore you will not get so that is gati and one more thing is avasadana this grip this this grip of your illusion that body is mine and i am the body and without body i cannot be this idea illusion which has gripped you so strongly it will slowly start loosening up like this that why so if you feel fear if you feel attachment if you feel worried and anxious and this and that it means what still that is holding you tight in its grip still the destruction has not started some people have written to me that that thinking they have has given them lot of mental strength that one everything is under brahman's divine play and i am just playing a role how how long is this role till this birth last my role lasts and then what else is there they are saying that because i am not the body i have put on the character of this body like a costume i have put on therefore my fear has become lesser that attachment and that uh, anxiety is not there so much why because i have been telling myself this is what upanishad says this is what vedanta says this is what swami is saying but when will you know it is true or not when the test is put without test all can give lectures i am not the body i am the supreme consciousness body comes and goes i remain anybody can say anything when a little test comes what if something happens to the body ha huh? tension what happens to the body then i am not be there i why won't be there this will happen that will happen all upanishads and vedanta go out of the window therefore this is the time you put this ideas into practice and you see for yourself what tremendous strength and courage it gives you and at the end of it all you all know that it's all in brahman's divine play did you come into this world by your own wish you decided i will come on this day at this time in this home in this maternity hospital i'll come ka ko hum how many of you decided tell me none of you could decide you just happened life happened to you you happened to come into the world who could decide similarly if you're living in the world who is deciding is it by your decision that you're living right now your heart is beating as per your decision your stomach is digesting as per your decision yes you can put your food in the mouth that's all you can do as per your decision swallow it after that leave it to them to the mechanism whatever god has provided it will digest the food it will assimilate it it excrete and they will give the strength to the rest of the part nothing you can do so your body is working according to somebody else's will not your will yeah superficially your will i am moving my hand i am moving but so many people who get paralysis they cannot even move their hands even they have the will i want to move the hand the hand doesn't move it means body works under somebody else's control not in our control simply birth happens without our knowledge and control living happens without our knowledge and control and death also happens without our knowledge and control everything is under somebody else's control 
ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈಟ್ ಸೇ ನ ಪ್ರಾಣೇನ ಅಪಾನೇನ ಮರ್ತ್ಯೋ ಜೀವತಿ ಕಶ್ಚನ ಇತರೇಣ ತು ಜೀವಂತಿ ಯಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಏತೌ ಉಪಾಶ್ರಿತೌ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ದ ವೆರಿ ಅರೈವಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅ ಬೇಬಿ ಟು ಅ ಬಾಯ್ ಆರ್ ಅ ಗರ್ಲ್ ಟು ಅ ಟೀನೇಜರ್ ಟು ಅ ಯೂತ್ ಟು ಅ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಏಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಟು ಅನ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಡೆತ್ ನನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ವಿ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಡಸನ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ವಿ ಮೈ ಥಿಂಕ್ ನೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲಿಸನಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೈ ವಾ ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ವಾಕ್ ನೌ ದೇ ವಾಕ್ಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ನೀಡ್ ವೀಲ್ ಚೇರ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ಡು ದೇ ನಾಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ವಾಕ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಾಂಟ್ ವೈ ದೇರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದ ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ವಾಕ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಯು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಕೂಂಬಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೆಕೋರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಟೂತ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಫೂಲಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಯು ಡಿನ್ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಯು ಡಿನ್ ಗ್ರೋ ಅಪ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಗ್ರೋ ಅಪ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ನಾರ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಗ್ರೋ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೈ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಐ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೈರಿ ಡೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈದರ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರಿಂಗ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಯು ನಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೈರಿ ಡೇಟ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಕಮಿಟ್ ಸೂಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಾಸ್ ಡಿಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ದೇಸ್ ವೈ ದೇ ಎಂಡೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಲೈಫ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದೇ ಎಂಡೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಲೈಫ್ಸ್ ಈವನ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಟು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ದೇ ಎಂಡೆಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಲೈಫ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಹರ್ ನೋ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಓವರ್ ದೇರ್ ಲೈಫ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಡೈಡ್ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ನೋ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಲೈಫ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಡೈಡ್ ಲೇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ನೋ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಲೈಫ್ಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಡಿಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಬೈ ಯುವರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲಿವ್ ಅವರ್ ಗ್ರೋ ಬೈ ಯುವರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ನನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಇತರೇಣ ತು ಜೀವಂತಿ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಯು ಲಿವ್ ಯಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಏತೌ ಉಪಾಶ್ರಿತೌ ಆನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಬಾಡಿಲಿ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಅಪಾನ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಟು ಉದಾಹರಣ ವ್ಯಾನ ಸಮಾನ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಟು ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೀಷನ್ ಡೈಜೆಷನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಟು ನರ್ವ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸಿಂಪತೆಟಿಕ್ ಎಸಿಂಪತೆಟಿಕ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಟು ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಕಿನ್ ಬೋನ್ ಫ್ಲೆಶ್ ಆಲ್ ಸಪ್ತ ಧಾತು ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡಿಗ್ ಡೀಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಪೊಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೇ ವಾಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಅ ಲೈಫ್ ನೋ 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 ಯು ಆರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ವೈ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅ ಲೈಫ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅ ಲೈಫ್
the car came into existence for the sake of the car owner the enjoyer likewise this body came together the heart the liver the pancreas the intestine the stomach lungs veins arteries brain nervous system skin flesh bone my tissues bone marrow nails hair and all the sense organs eyes ears nose whatever all these come together for whose sake not for the body's sake because car parts are not for the car's sake house parts are not for the house's sake like that body parts are not for the body's sake so whose sake the owner of this body who is the owner of the body you are the owner of the body it means you are not the body and who is the owner of the body that is parmatma he is the owner of the body for whose sake all the body parts have come together and become a body all the house parts have come together and become a house so the indweller of this house is parmatma that is why in the beginning we said puram ekadash dwaram in the eleven gated house there parmatma purusha enters and lives and he is always free because he is not dependent if he suppose he wants to change the house he will just walk out of any door but is because he is a king he should go out of the main gate only not from the back gate kitchen door or not jump out of the window and go because he is a king therefore he will walk out royally whenever he wants so who can decide how long the king lives in the house can house decide can the doors decide oh my heart will stop beating then i am dead who decides your heart stops beating who decides your stomach no even if all this happens if this purusha does not want to go he'll repair the door window leaking roof floor and continue to stay he will not leave so the roof is leaking he will say no i want to stay in this house only so he'll go and repair the roof and continue staying a door is creaking he will put oil and put the bolts and continue to use the door he will not leave as long as the owner does not want to leave the house however bad the house may be however dilapidated the house may be if the owner wants to stay who can vacate him rental people you can vacate owner who can vacate owner will go when he wants to go that's it nobody can tell you go from here likewise till brahman decides to live in the body no doctor no issue no nothing can decide he decides for himself if some damage happens he will repair it like repairing the broken window or repairing the leaking roof he will repair and continue living there he won't go because he doesn't want to go but the day he decides i want to go you up decorate the house you put new comforts new chairs new beds new sofas new entertainment system he said i don't want to stay he'll go nobody can stop him from going so that is the idea the brahman resides in the body called the ekadasha pura and brahman decides how long he wants to live in this if brahman says i don't want to live do what you want on earth get the best of the systems best of the things lot of riches lot of comfort lot of wealth it won't stay but if he wants to stay and doesn't want to go your teeth may fall your eyes may become weak your ears are not listening your stomach is not digesting heart is poorly beating but he doesn't want to go so nobody can vacate him that's it he'll continue living therefore itarena tu jivanti the very life is that brahman and he is the reason why all these things have been created for him to stay the house has been created and till he wants to stay nobody can ask him to vacate the house because he is the king who can tell the king get out servants can be asked to get out eyes get out ears get out nose get out touch get out stomach get out heart everything can get out but he won't get out if he doesn't want to go likewise believe in this parama satyam that you are none other than that brahman that is your truth that is your existence and as long as that brahman wants to occupy the body and the mind and use it for his own work nothing on earth can stop him no disease no sickness no infection no accident nothing can happen he will somehow survive through everything why because he wants to stay but the day he is upset the day he doesn't want his heart is he is lost his interest then what will do what is the use of this house i don't like it i'll go who can stop him anybody can fall at his feet who can stop him nobody can stop brahman nobody can advise brahman i think you should do like this and not like that and if he wants to go nobody can stop if he wants to come nobody can stop coming going staying 
is totally brahman's decision it is not your body's decision it is not your mind's decision it is not the decision of the doctors and the medical specialists it is the decision of brahman and brahman alone so till he decides nobody can vacate him and if he vacates nobody can make him stay back so take refuge in this higher thought that your existence is brahman's existence and till brahman decides nobody can do anything and if brahman has decided against nobody can make him reverse his decision that is brahman that is the truth that you are and don't be chicken hearted and don't be shivering and anxious you what will happen body if i something will happen to my breath then something some headache fever all these are small repairs and damages in the doors windows and roof he will repair it and continue living he is not going to vacate but the day he decides to vacate best of the houses bungalows even palaces cannot stop him so therefore remember this one truth itarena tu jeevanti itarena tu jeevanti we are alive not because of all this body and biology we are alive because something else is keeping us alive until it decides to keep us alive who can this was hindi se jako ra ke saiya mar sake na koi the one who is protected by god who can help do anything he will know how to protect his house if he wants to stay and if he is bored with this house and he doesn't like this house he wants to go away who can stop him nobody can stop him so therefore take this idea take the refuge take the understanding of this higher idea of why you are existing right now you are existing because of brahman therefore think deeper about who you are that is why it took so much time to explain in jagrata avastha who is experiencing in dream avastha who is experiencing in susupti avastha who is experiencing because jagrata is not there in dream dream is not is in jagrata as he told janaka when you are in palace were you there in the forest no when you were in forest were you there in the palace no palace was not in forest forest was not in palace but you were here and you were there that side also how did it happen because you are beyond the forest and the palace you are beyond the body and the mind you are beyond the jagruta and the swapna and the sushupti therefore you are that tatvam asi you are that what brahman see that idea that it's all brahman and nothing else should become a part and parcel of you every nerve every drop of cell every piece of flesh should reverberate with this idea that brahman and brahman alone is truth and as long as brahman wants who has his own will nobody can come in his way nobody can interfere with his will so anything that happens in life is happening under the great divine will knowing that sukhi bhava ashtavakra says sukhi bhava be happy why because be happy in all situations that is spirituality find the reason to be happy in all situation and what is the best reason that you can find that's all happening under the great divine will so be happy it's not my will it's not gyane atmani it's not mahati atmani shanta atmani under whose control we think we are like a child sitting on father's lap thinks he is driving the car and keeps getting excited that's how brahman is allowing us to take credit for whatever we don't do we think we achieved all these things oh we are educated we have got a big job now a big name family position wealth power all brahman is doing how like this father who is hitting all the bottles and when the daughter opens her eyes she thinks she has hit the bottles with the ball like that he entertains the child like that brahman is simply entertaining us we are thinking we are living we are growing we are studying we are eating we are sleeping we are intelligent we are talented all these foolish thoughts we have and brahman is like a father clapping and entertaining us very good very good very good and we are jumping that we are so happy this is exactly what is happening in our lives so remember this and take great refuge in this that's why adunaiva sukhi shanto bamda moksha bhavishyasi ashtavakra says if you think like this that you are not the body and your mind becomes absolutely peaceful knowing the truth that is all under the control of that great brahman adunaiva sukhi shanto immediately you will develop peace and happiness immediate not delay immediate adunaiva sukhi shanto and bandha moksha bhavishyasi eventually you will even get rid of all the attachments of the body immediate peace and everlasting peace both comes to you 
and therefore I don't have to worry. Why? Because all this while when I was born, I was not born by my will. I grew up into a boy or a girl, it was not my will. Or even to be born as a boy or a girl was not my will. And now I have grown into a youth, I, I could not stop myself from growing into a youth. Now from youth I will go into an old person, I cannot stop myself from that. It's all happening under somebody else's will. It is foolishness to think that it is happening under my will. Therefore, one more nice story is there. It seems one king was there and he had a minister. And both of them were very close. And the minister was a wise old minister. He cut his finger. The king cut his finger while cutting apples. And blood came and the minister said, Don't worry, o king. Everything happens for our good only. He got very angry with the minister. Ah, my finger is cut and blood is coming and instead of telling good things, you are telling me, don't worry, it's for God's will. Everything happens under his will. So he tells, put this minister in the jail. And so he is put in the jail. Then the king goes out for a ride into the forest for the hunting expedition. And in the forest, somehow it's a storm comes and the king loses his way and all the other retinue, the sipais, the soldiers are lost and the king alone wanders away into some village, a tribal village in the center of the forest somewhere. And those village people catch hold of him. And they say, oh, we have got a nice offering to me, a nice dinner has come. We will sacrifice him to the goddess and after that make a nice dinner out of him and eat him. That was their plan, these tribal people's plan. They are cannibals. So this king has been caught, he's given a nice bath and wash and being dressed up for the killing ceremony, sacrifice, bali. And then somebody noticed that he has a bandage in a finger and they open and see his finger is cut. They say, no, 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 this is a damaged piece. This cannot be offered to the goddess, she will get upset. We need to give a perfect healthy piece. Oh, this is damaged. So they allow him to go and he somehow go, finds his way back and reaches the palace to his relief. And then he understands that the mantri told, everything is for your good, the cutting of finger is for, for my good. That time I didn't understand, I got, cried and got angry. But later when I got caught with the tribal people, then I realized it was for my good. So then he called the minister and said, all right, this is for my good. How is it for your good that you were put in a jail? Then he said, king, if I was not in jail, I would have come with you. And if I had come with you, they would have sacrificed me instead of you. Because your finger is cut, but mine was all right. So therefore, I also got saved, you also got saved. This is the best. It could have happened this way. And therefore, everything is for our good. It's under a great divine plan. So those people who believe in the greater divine plan of Master, the God, Brahman, they have no problem with anything. They are happy in all situations, in all places, at all times. Likewise, you derive this great strength. All these Upanishads are very practical subjects. Because this is how you should deal with life. You should face life. Upanishads are not to be read and uh, memorized and then uh, kept in the cupboard and forgotten about it. No, they are to be applied now and here. When attachments come, apply Upanishad. When fears come, apply Upanishad. Anxiety comes, apply Upanishad. That is what will help you. Nothing else will help you. This Brahma Jnana alone can help you to lead a peaceful and happy life in all situations. So you can easily see that all these under the great divine design of Brahman, how things had to happen in a certain way so that we all can go and do some self-checking, self-audit. How much faith have we developed? How much confidence do we have in that great idea of divinity being the controller of everything? If you are feeling sh and shivering and worrying, know that you are, you are going to fail in this test. So better buckle up, better strengthen your feelings and convictions and better pass through this test with in flying colors, you know, smilingly. That's how you should think. Everybody should think like this. There is no fear at all.